Hello everybody, I am Harper Carroll from Harper Carroll AI and today we're going to go over how you can generate free images just using simple text inputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Canva. Canva has a bunch of AI tools now that you can use. So I'm excited to walk you through that. I was recently with a friend and I was showing her these, you know, images and videos that I generated. And she was like, you know, oh, you know, that must be so hard with your two degrees in AI. I don't think I could do that. And I was like, I literally just inputted baby walking down the hall. So as the result of this AI boom, there is a lot of money going into these AI companies who make it really easy to use AI. And so as a result, you have these applications and websites where you can just input your text and it does all the handling of using the model for you and just sends you back the output. So you don't have to know how AI works anymore in order to reap the benefits of some of these generative models. So, and by generative models, I mean text to image models, text to video models, where you input text and you get video or images out of it. I mean large language models like ChatGPT or Claude is another version of a large language model. So ChatGPT is made by OpenAI and Claude is made by Anthropic, which is another company that's very focused on AI alignment. So making AI that is very safe and supportive for humans to use. So there are a lot of companies out there that have different large language models and large language models are basically models where you input text and you get text back. That sounds kind of like you're talking to a person. It speaks like a person. So I have a bunch of videos on how those models work. Um, and check out the 10 days of AI basics series that I have going on. I have long form videos here on YouTube and then shorter videos on Instagram. And also I have a, a short section here, but they're a little bit cut to fit the one minute mark as opposed to one and a half minutes, which is what they typically are. So you can check out my TikTok or my Instagram, which is my main platform there. But today I just wanna show you how you can use Canva, which is perhaps a tool you're already familiar with, to generate images. So it's really simple. Look, they give a few um, prompts here and you can input your own prompt or what you can do is use a large language model like what I described. I like to use Claude. It's free. Everything here I'm doing with you is free. I would show you the text to video model, but um, that's not free. So we're not going to do that today. Let's start with Canva, do the free version. So I'm here on Claude and you can start a new chat, kind of like ChatGPT and I can make another video on how to use ChatGPT because I actually recently talked to some of you and um, I've heard that that's actually not something you know how to do. So we got to do that. But in order to use Claude, you go to Claude.ai, you sign up and you just like input your Google, sign up with Google and then you can ask just like, that's what I want to make. You can do whatever you want. Oops, all right. I wonder how many characters, let's just start with this. So I just have a free Canva. And you could say like, make it a little bit longer. I don't know what the character limit is on Canva, so how many characters you can input into the prompt. So the prompt is the text that you send the model to get an output. So whether that's sending text to get an image or text to get a video or text to just get more text back in the case of a large language model like Claude or like ChatGPT. But look at this. I just got a bunch of free images generated for me and they're so good. I love them. Cool. So that's it. You know, now I can, I can click it and I can share it and I can say generate again. Look, 49 credits. So I can make a bunch of images. This is so sweet. We can say like hyper detailed, realistic, Let's say,
Okay. All right, so that might be too long. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Where does it say bokeh effect? Here we go. We want this, so we can just play around with this. Let's see if it makes it a little better. I'm curious, it might just be too much, but like, cause this is already pretty realistic, but also what's bokeh effect? Okay, something is blurred. I see, okay. There might be a system prompt, which we talk about in a video that I will link here. Um, but system prompts are basically the prompts that the company provides to the model that you can't see. And so there might be a system prompt that already says, like, make a photorealistic image, if not specified otherwise. But yeah, so these are just more images. I actually think it's slightly more realistic. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I am very excited about this. And then you can, also something I wanna try, I like this one more. I like the bouquet effect. And then I'm just gonna do something really fast. So there is a text to, a free text to video model. It is not very good. The free version of Runway is not good. You would wanna sign up for Runway. Don't pay when they ask you to pay. Just click the little X button. Um, but you can upload photos and get it to be like a little bit animated, which you might want for some kind of video or something. So we don't want to upgrade, go to gen two, which again is like not very good, but it is what it is. This is the photo we just generated with Canva. This takes a couple minutes. Okay, let's see what it comes out with. Uh. Let's try like clicking this because it looks like the only motion it's adding is in the corner, which is so dumb. I'll probably have to go back here to see. Yeah, it looks like it's being generated. I wish I could cancel a generation, but I cannot. Notice that I have a certain number of credits here, so just be cautious of how you use them if you want to generate a lot of video. But yeah, this is silly. Look, it's like the only change is this little thing in the corner. Okay, let's see if this makes any difference. No. I mean, maybe you can tweak it. Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> terrifying okay I will tell you the paid version is better um, we can go over that in another video but if you want to pay $15 a month you can use the paid version it is better but I hope this was helpful and I hope you have fun using AI images for free off of Canva I think Canva is a really fantastic tool I love it I use it so often as a creator so have fun, generate AI images for your needs, for your needs, and I will see you here next week. And let me know what you wanna learn. You know, I, I was really struck by meeting the women that I met. So I, I met a bunch of women at a party and I was talking to them about AI and they shared that they don't know how to use ChatGPT, but they're too embarrassed, ashamed to ask their brothers how to use it and so that um, makes me sad and so I would like to create a series that's just super super basic um, and then you know eventually you ramp up but like how to use these tools because they're actually really easy it's as simple as installing an app on your phone like everyone knows how to do it so I will come out with 
a video on that. I think I'll release a short on how to use like Claude or ChatGPT. And um, yeah, so I'll see you here next week. Sign up for my newsletter if you have not yet. It is very um, in depth every week on the news that you should know for the week. And I'd love to hear your feedback. So if you sign up, you can respond to the email that you receive and, and message me. And I released a couple of videos this week on system prompts that I talked about. And then today I'm also releasing, by the time the video comes out, I will have released the day three of the 10 days of AI and nuclear um, with Isabel Bimicki, who is the world's leading nuclear electricity engineer. And so what was the other video I released? It was about system prompts and it was about uh, reinforcement learning, a video about reinforcement learning. So I will link those in the description as well. And yeah, follow me on Instagram or please subscribe to my YouTube if you found this helpful. And um, let me know in the comments what you think. So I will see you here next week. Take care, everybody. And till next time.